Hi, I'm Jeroen and I want to show you how to make a presentation using Inkscape together with the extension Jesse Ink. This program is Inkscape and it is an open source vector drawing program. The extension that we are using is called Jesse Ink and that is an add-on that makes it possible to use layers as slides and all kinds of effects like the, the present presentations. In order for a document to be used as a presentation, we have to install Jesse Ink into this document. We do that by applying the installation and it's done. Now, because we're going to make a presentation, I'll just uh, adjust the width and the height of the paper, which will of course be the slides. And as I said, we are going to use the layers as slides. We have only one layer now. Um, we can use that as a, a master slide. The master slide will be the backdrop for all other slides. And after naming it, we have to tell Jesse Inc. that the master slide is called, and we have to type it exactly the same, master slides. Apply. Close. So everything we draw on the master slide will be used as a backdrop for um, all other slides. So we'll just create a nice background. Okay, let's add another slide and call it slide 1. Say welcome. Okay, let's add another slide, slide two, above the current layer, and we'll turn off the visibility of slide one just to make sure we're only seeing the master slide and slide two. Story begins. And let's create some shapes to play around with. Okay, now only add one more slide and we can end the presentation. to be too long busy doing this example. So now if we save the file as a normal Inkscape uh, SVG file, then any browser that uh, supports SVG files will be able to show this presentation. So for example we can just drag and drop the SVG file to Firefox and then we can use either the mouse clicks or the right and left arrow to go uh, to the next slides. So this looks very much like a PowerPoint presentation. And now to do some fancier stuff, we can, for example, say to Jesse Inc. that the mouse handler will be dragging and zooming. And then we can use some more Prezi-like effects, but it's only done manual. So if we go to Firefox again, load the new uh, presentation, the arrows can be used to skip uh, to the slides. And the mouse, if you click on something, it will uh, zoom into that part of the presentation. Yes, I don't know why it didn't work with the text. But it works with the mirror test. You see, if you click on something, uh, the normal aspect ratio will be restored. Uh, if the object is turned around, mirrored, rotated, uh, cropped, 
it will go back to its original shape and the rest of the presentation will be different. If you click on an object again, it will zoom out back to the, the normal frame. The end. Now if we want to automate that process, that is also possible. Let's go to uh, slide 2. And let's draw a boundary box around the two stars. Uh, it should have a line, no fill. Yes, that's better. Uh, now we have selected the object, we can tell Jesse Inc. that it is a view. It is the first in this slide, and the zooming will take two seconds and we don't want to remove it. Apply. Just save the presentation again. Uh, reload in Firefox. Back to the beginning. Yes, okay. Now if we click next we go to the slide 2. And now if we click next we'll zoom in to our object that we have uh, made view 1. And if we now continue, we jump to frame 3. And it is still possible now for using the mouse, dragging, zooming, clicking. I wonder why, but this one doesn't work. Okay, I sh showed you some basic stuff of Jesse Inc. It is also possible to make uh, transition effects between the slides. It is possible to adjust the key bindings. And it is possible to use auto text to um, have a certain kind of template for the slides and put in your titles or your slide numbers. This was all for today. Thank you for listening.